hey, it's been here. If you've seen a rocket launch, either online or in person, you would have heard about rocket stages. So what exactly are rocket stages and why are they used? To put it simply, rocket stages are when you take a rocket and you chop it into smaller rockets and then connect them together by attaching them on the sides of each other or stacking them on top of each other. This is a model of the SpaceX Falcon Heavy. You can see it's made up of smaller rockets. There's two boosters on the side here. There's one stage in the middle and then there's another stage on the top and then the payload fairing on the very top which would house the satellite inside it. That's quite a complicated example because it's got them on the side and on the top there. So let's look at a slightly more simple rocket. This is one that I really like because it launches from my country of New Zealand. This is the Rocket Lab Electron rocket. It's a two-stage rocket. You can see the first stage on the bottom here is the largest. This is quite a common thing. And then on top is the second stage. And then on top of that is this little payload fairing which houses the satellite. So that's what rocket stages are, but why are they used? Surely that should be more complicated than just having one rocket that goes all the way up to orbit. There's two reasons. The first is weight, and the second is to do with engines. When you're launching anything up into orbit, it takes fuel, and that fuel is weight. And to lift that weight of the fuel up, you need more fuel. And then to contain all that fuel, you need fuel tank. And then to lift that extra fuel tank, you need more fuel and more fuel tank. And it's just a massive snowball effect. So small changes in the amount of weight that you're lifting have big changes to the size of the rocket you need. So when we're launching stuff, the rule is, if you don't need to use something anymore, chuck it away. This is what staging is. It's throwing away excess bit of fuel tank that we don't need because it's empty. So let's look at a rocket that doesn't have staging. It's just one stage. And when we launch it, we see that the fuel level starts to decrease. That's as expected. So now we've got this bit of fuel tank at the top there that's not being needed, but we can't throw it away because it's just one stage. And then we've got this tiny amount of fuel left in the bottom here and then a huge bit of empty fuel tank that we're still lugging around. So we're not going to get to a very high speed. Let's change this into a two-stage rocket. When we fire it off, the fuel level in that first stage starts to decrease. But after that first stage is empty, we can throw it away and then we're left with a second stage. And that can actually reach much higher speeds and altitudes because it doesn't have to push that first stage fuel tank there. And so it's much more efficient than a single stage rocket. This allows us to quite easily lift satellites into orbit compared to if we just had single stage launch rockets. This is the main reason to staging. The next reason is a little more complicated. Rocket engines work by combusting fuel in their combustion chamber. This produces pressurized gas, and this gas is then going out the back of the rocket through a nozzle. The job of the nozzle is to convert that pressure inside the combustion chamber to speed of the gas coming out the back. And we want that gas coming out the back as straight as possible. That's because that gas coming out the back is what the rocket is pushing off of to push itself along. So we have to consider the air pressure around the rocket when it's firing. You'll notice on the Rocket Lab Electron rocket here, it's got nine Rutherford engines on the bottom, but only one engine on the top stage. That's because the nozzles of the engines on the bottom stage are much smaller than on the top stage. The reason for this is, is that the size of the nozzle affects how much that exhaust gas gets expanded. Down here at sea level, there's a lot of air pressure, and so that pushes on the gas coming out the back, keeping it in a straight line with quite a small nozzle. But with a really large nozzle up in space, this allows the gas to expand more. 
This is needed because in space, without the air pressing against it, with a small nozzle, the gas would just expand out the back, going sideways rather than straight down, pushing the rocket along. And that makes the rocket less efficient. So, what would happen if we had small nozzles up there? It would just look something like this. It's not the end of the world, but it's not really great for fuel efficiency. But, okay, then why don't we just use big nozzles down at sea level? Well, there's harsher consequences for that one. You'll end up with flow instability. The gas coming out the exhaust will separate from the nozzle, and that'll cause vortexes and instabilities, shaking the rocket into a catastrophic explosion. This is the secondary reason to why rockets stage, so that they can have engines on the first stage optimized for flight inside the atmosphere, and engines on the second stage optimized for flight outside of the atmosphere. So, I hope you've learned something today on Simply Space. As always, welcome to space.